now let us look at the relationship between the symmetric relations symmetric relations and irreflexive relation and irreflexive relation so what is the relationship between the symmetric relations and irreflexive relations so if you use this venn diagram this is a universal set this is a set of relations which are symmetric this is a set of relations which are irreflexive the symmetric and irreflexive now how can i draw this venn diagram if i can give an example of each of these reasons then i can simply say this right so let us try to give an example of number of relations which are symmetric but not irreflexive the relation which is symmetric but not irreflexive that is if we have a relation r1 which is 1 comma 1 and 1 comma 2 and 2 comma 1 now this relation is symmetric but it is not irreflexive why it is not irreflexive because of this pair because of this pair this relation is not irreflexive now can i get an example of a relation which is irreflexive but not symmetric yes if i give an example r2 which is um, assume it is 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 now this relation is irreflexive this relation is irreflexive but it is not symmetric but it is not symmetric why it is not symmetric because it is uh, not containing the pair which is 2 comma 1 and 3 comma 1 now can i give an example of a relation which is symmetric as well as irreflexive symmetric as well as irreflexive if i give an example r3 which is equal to 1 comma 2 2 comma 1 now this relation is irreflexive as well as this relation is symmetric as well as this relation is symmetric now can i give an, give an example of a relation which is neither symmetric nor irreflexive yes let us suppose we have a relation r6 we have a relation r6 which is 1 comma 1 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 4 comma 4 1 comma 2 now this relation is neither symmetric why it is not symmetric because it is not having the pair which is 2 comma 1 it is not irreflexive why it is not irreflexive because it's having the pair 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 and so on right so we can give an example of each and every reason like this okay now let us look at let us look at the number of relations which are symmetric we already seen this number of relations which are symmetric number of relations are symmetric they are 2 raised to power n into 2 raised to power n square minus n by 2 in the previous case we have already taken this example now number of relations which are irreflexive we have already seen this how many relations are there which are irreflexive these are 2 raised to power n square minus n now let us look at the number of relations which are symmetric as well as they are irreflexive that means i am trying to give an example of this particular reason number of relations which are symmetric as well as irreflexive right so assume we have a pair assume a is equal to a is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 a is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 now if i do a cross a then it is going to give us 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 1 comma 2 2 comma 1 3 comma 2 and 2 comma 3 and 1 comma 3 and 3 comma 1 right so this is the cross product now if a relation has to be irreflexive then these ordered pair should not be there for relation to be irreflexive then these ordered pair should not be there right now if a relation has to be symmetric then these pairs should be there only in this pair like this these pairs should be there right so if a relation has to be irreflexive then this pair should not be there and if a relation has to be symmetric then these pairs should be there right so if the cardinality of the set a is n then the cardinality of the set a cross a will be n square and these are total n elements so how many elements are these these are total n square minus n and because we are taking in pairs so these are 2 n square minus n by 2 elements now the number of relations which are symmetric as well as irreflexive if a relation has to be irreflexive they should not be there if a relation has to be symmetric then these pairs for these pairs we have choices so these are 2 raised to power n square minus n by 2 choices 2 raised to power n square minus n by 2 choices 
Now you can give an example of the reasons. The number of lesions which are symmetric or irreflexive. This is number of lesions which are symmetric plus number of lesions which are irreflexive minus number of lesions which are symmetric and irreflexive. Right, same way number of lesions which are symmetric but not irreflexive but not irreflexive they are number of lesions which are symmetric number of lesions which are symmetric minus number of lesions which are symmetric and irreflexive and irreflexive you can easily use this and you can easily give this formula right this is very easy to understand i think so in this case now in the same way we can find out if the number of lesions which are not symmetric but they are irreflexive so these are number of lesions which are irreflexive minus number of lesions which are symmetric as well as irreflexive we already know the values of this you can put these values and you can get the answer okay so this is the relationship between the symmetric lesions and irreflexive lesions now let us look at the next category of lesions